Do not worry. Well, folks, happy Thursday. Welcome to a brand new episode of Do Not Worry. I'm your host, Anthony, joined by Nadim, the intern. Yo. How's it going, everybody? Uh, The rest of the interns aren't here. As you can see by the the thumbnail, it's a dramatic episode. My car got stolen, Nadim. It was just parked in Jamaica, and someone stole my car. We're going to talk about that a little bit later on the episode. Uh, Please, as usual, folks, like this video. Leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. We actually just crossed the 8,000 subscriber mark. Finally, folks, it only took a little over two years. (laughs) Best thank you. Uh, Thank you to our beautiful patrons. We got a brand new patron this week, Eli Hello, a blonde patron. Thank you, Eli, for joining our Patreon family. And let me thank a couple of other beautiful patrons like Enzo S, Darkwing Duck, Jad Sabr, Michelle Aisa, Celine H, and Hassan Rida. Beautiful superhero patrons like Daniel Nechle, Mo Hariri, Joey To. Ryan Nabulsi, Mustafa Wehbe, and got your patrons, Jessica Ann, Rifat Fakih, and Burgery. The best burgers over there in Tripoli. I'm going to go there uh, on Sunday. I'm going to try them out and hang out with my, with my Burgery friends. Uh, uh, folks, if you'd like to join our Patreon and support this channel, please consider doing so. It helps, us, it helps us pay the interns. It helps us stay afloat and survive in this insane country. So we thank you for your support. This show could not exist without Patreon. Uh, what else we got? Uh, so my car got stolen. We got two Filuk versus McDonald's. Uh, the lira rate is exploding, folks. We got beef with Jad Rusin. And does Jonas Nashad have a new Sigma God to worry about? There might be a, there's a new Sigma God in the neighborhood, folks. Jonas, yeah. you, you got to watch out, Jonas. And a whole bunch of other topics that we're going to discuss. Uh, and can't forget to thank our sponsor, Sendwave, our returning sponsor, Folks, use the code CASHDNW on your first transfer. Get an extra $15. And for every code that you use, our interns will get money. That's right. The more you use the code, the more money the interns make. So I'm going to explain it all a little, a little bit later. So stay tuned for that. Uh, all right. Let's get kicked off. Starting with the dollar rate. We're always talking about uh, you know, the dollar, the dollar rate. rate. As you know, we shoot on Tuesday. So by the time this comes out on Thursday, uh, everything's going to change. At one point today, the dollar reached a high of like 140,000. Then by the end, it reached 150,000. Then it reached 116,000. Now it's 109,000. Let's guess what's going to happen on Thursday. Hey, it's a big deal. I don't know. I'm going to tell you that you're going to get to 140,000 by the time Thursday. I'm going to get to it. We're going to play the goddamn game. Okay, okay. It's 130,000. Okay. أنا ميو أربعين. I think it's gonna go back up to ميو أربعين. We're gonna play the damn game every week. ميو أربعين ألف. And as you know, as always, we talked about it last week. Twitter كله بيبيج وتا the dollar rate explodes. And I mean for good reason. It is it is insane. Yeah, and for people who earn money in Lebanese, who هيك they're fucked. But most of the people that are complaining on social media, you know, are influencers and stuff like that. Unur Hajar had a funny video about it. Let's watch this about people complaining and people asking and unzalo lema fi muzaharat u thawra u lema amtunzalo at tarat and on jad what's gonna help? Anna, you can't pay you can pay me money ma binzal but zahar but after October 17th, I fool me once like khalas ma bishu shubat inzal amil shun tabi sunar us for what? Here's here's news video. Ya jamaa dollar haisir mi u khamsin alf. وينكم ليه ما كل الناس عم تنزل تتظاهر تولع البلد وينكم يا خي يا خي انتم ما بتجوعوا انتم ما بتجوعوا يا عمي ما انتم جوعان انا جعت يا زلمه ولاني انا جعت طلبت ملك الطاووق اليوم فيكم انتم كمان تستعملوا البرومو كود تبع عينون و77 في استعملوا لقسيمه شرائيه سي يو انا بدبي Don't forget <laughs> cash D and W protect yourself from the from from unstable Lebanese currency with send wave by transferring yeah. dollars from abroad but no he's he's completely right Oh yeah, all the like. My, I I personally don't follow anyone anymore. That's like super thoda. So I haven't seen any of the. Lish ma abtinza lo atterat, but I know they're out there. The Dubai point, it was on point. Yeah, they don't even leave. Yeah, they don't even live here. A uh, quick, just fun little update. We had a Patreon call. I had a call, a Zoom call with every single patron. Hello. Not everybody showed up, but so all patrons were invited. No matter what level you're at, the uh, abducti, blonde superhero, uh, god tier. And I took a little screenshot. Here it is. That uh, there were more people who showed up. I think there was like 12 of us overall. At by the end, I just took it a bit early. Nadim showed up. Look at these beautiful faces. Uh, we had a lot of fun. We're gonna do one again next week, next month, folks. Next month with all 
patrons, and I'm going to think of an extra little super exclusive thing for superhero and God tier patrons. But when I do calls for only them, no one shows up. So <laughs> if I want people to show up, we got to do Zoom calls for everybody. So if you guys want to take part in a fun Zoom call, we talked a lot of uh, insider shit that nobody knows. Uh, we spilled a lot of tea, yeah. a lot of tea that only the patrons that showed up uh, are now uh, you know, aware of. But if you guys want some extra, extra juicy Mm, sweet tea. You can take gossip. Uh, Super gossip. Yeah, yeah. And maybe it was maybe too much gossip. Yeah, too maybe much. too much <laughs> gossip. Best to know, hey, you guys want to you guys want to know what you missed out on? Join us. Join our Patreon. Support this channel so we can keep going and get a little fun uh, bonus. I hope you guys who showed up. Thank you so much for showing up. It was so fun having you there. And sticking to the Patreon topic, a fun update. I never usually do this, okay? Uh, because. Uh, We're going to talk about Gino. We used to, you know, as you guys know, Gino has been a patron for a long time. And I've been shocked that he has remained a patron for as long as he did, especially after we talked about him with the Jadrissen beef. And like, he, Gino stopped engaging with the channel. I thought he hated us, but he kept supporting us on Patreon. Well, we have an update. Gino has left the Patreon. Gino has left. But I'm not saying this to call him out or in, in any negative way, Blackus. I'm saying this because, A, you know, he's, a fam he's our most famous patron. So I just right. want to call Yanni. Yeah, He's the only person who will ever call out because Gino left our Patreon. And I want to take this opportunity to say thank you. Anjad, Yane. Gino was our patron for 17 months. And that's almost a year and a half. Yane, that's so awesome. That's so generous. So whether you guys agree or disagree with Gino, I disagree with him on a lot of things and I agree with him on a lot of things. I know he's a polarizing figure. I know a lot of you guys don't like him. But that's so generous. Anjad, that's so kind. And he donated over 100. And I normally shouldn't share any of this. But so no, I just want to say because I'm so appreciative. Anjad, he, he donated over $130 to our podcast Thank over you, 17 Gino. months. That's so sweet. That's so generous. Anjad, Yana, Gino, we couldn't have done this without you. And every patron out there, Anjad, whether you're a patron for one month and you donate $5 once, I swear to God, it makes a difference. I can't message all of you guys when you leave or if you cancel your Patreons to tell you how much I appreciate you guys. We have some patrons that have been with us for like almost the full like almost a year and a half like ever since we started patreon i've had people that have been supporting us there's people that have donated over two hundred dollars three hundred dollars i think four hundred dollars anjad is insane we cannot do this without you so gino thank you so much no hard feelings at all bro i'm shocked that you remained a patron for this long thank you for being a patron thank you for being so generous uh like i've, I've, I've hung out with gino only a handful of times and anjad this is so sweet and so generous It, it's made a massive difference to all of you out there If you've been a patron for one week, uh, one week, uh, it, they wouldn't charge you. If you've been a patron for one month <laughs> or for, for a year, Anjad, thank you. We love you. It makes such Thanks, a big guys. difference. And I wanted to say thank you to Gino. And since we always talk about him still being a patron, I just wanted to give you guys an update. That that time is done. But Anjad, uh, we appreciate it so much. So thank you. Show him some love. Yeah, all, all Gino ever gets is hate. So throw him a little thank you in the comments. Anjad, that was super generous. And we it love really, you, Gino. Thanks, really made yeah. a difference. So Gino... <laughs> Got you, buddy. Another update. Speaking of Hakina and Jad Rissen, last week uh, I made the erroneous claim. I made a mistake of saying that we were the number two podcast to be the name. I fucked up. I fucked up. Folks, we are not. No as some of you in the comments uh, were quick to remind me, Jad Rissen has this beat. So Jad Rissen is actually number two. Said this number one. Jad Rissen is number two. Now let's we look. are number three. And we are number three. Oh. Don't you dare tell me that I'm number four, Hala. Oh. Actually, Anthony, you're number four. I'm oh. not number four. We're number three. Khalas. <laughs> Jad Rissen has 53,000 subscribers, over 53,000 subscribers. Uh, he's pretty consistent with his publishing. You know what I mean? His videos routinely get between like 15, 20, 30, 40, 50,000 views. Still second to said. The said it has over 100,000 subscribers. Uh, they have a video like... A, All, they have a video, I think, with a million views and a couple more that are close to a million. Yeah, and Mia Khalifa and, and Carlos Khusan. So in terms of views, and, and, and they're pretty consistent. Yeah, and they're very consistent. So we're number three. Khalas, I don't want to hear it. We're number three. I've corrected the record. Okay. And I forgot Jad Rissan's podcast existed. I don't know if this is short on Instagram. Yeah, I've never watched it, to be honest. It's kind of boring. But okay, man, look, to give yourself some credit. Look, I mean... Jad Rissan is a television celebrity. Yeah, and we can't, it's hard to compete with that. Yeah, Ma'aruf al he was on television for years. Of course, he's going to be, he's going to do better than us. Yeah. And, and I mean, Serde, they've, they've worked very hard and they've, you know, they've paved their own way. But let's, uh, you know, Moin's dad is the host of Arabs Got Talent and he's the head of NBC, the biggest media conglomerate in the Middle uh. East. 
Yeah, that's got to help a little bit. Yeah, I'm sure Papa Jabber made a phone call to Carlos Glisson and like, hey, you're going to go on my son's podcast. Like, <laughs> I'm sure that happened. Let's, like, let's just be real. Now nah, we're just a bunch of nobodies. Look at us. because who, Who's Nadim? Who, who's Elijah and Nur? I plucked them out of obscurity, folks. Ah, <laughs> and look at this now. A bunch of randos. And we're number three. Num I'm very proud to be number three. So give us a round of applause to ourselves for being number three. I just wanted to correct the record. Jad Glisson, we see you. Okay? You yeah. are number two. Nahna. We're proud bronze medalists. I'll take it, okay? I'll take it. Uh, boxing update. Boxing update. Well, yeah, Nadim, I got I got punched in the face for the first time in my life today, folks. I got punched in the face, and I punched someone in the face. Uh, let me let me pull up a picture. I, I don't have a picture of me actually punching anyone in the face, but here's me post sparring my first sparring lesson folks well not even not really sparring I, they threw me in the ring with the, one of the assistant coaches who i love very much pedros i love him he's so he's so sweet such an awesome fucking fighter he's got amazing form that's that I can. <laughs> no no he's like, <laughs> gently punching you know what i mean like he doinked me in the face a few yeah. times like i got a couple of uh, hooks got a couple of jabs got like a little mini uppercut and i was like oh shit we're actually hitting each other and he's like hit me hit me and i'm like i don't want to hit your face man <laughs> so i was like Kind of like hitting it. He's like, come on, hit me. And I was like, just, I'm getting used to it, okay? Yeah. Besides, I managed to hit him a few times. You're so sweet. Let the show. Very good. I'm too nice, yeah. man. Yeah. Like, <laughs> hitting someone, he's like, and I'm, I'm hitting his gloves. I was aiming for his glove. He's like, dude, my face is here. Hit my face. I'm like, I don't want to hit your face. <laughs> then he'd hit me, and then, like, I would, like, run away from him in the rain. He's <laughs> like, oh, bro, the movies, and the this bullied guy, and the movie, and the movie, and the movie, and I kept running away from him. He's like, you, you can't run away from me, man. I was like, I know, man, I don't want to hit. But, like, I'm getting used, I'm getting better. Coach is telling me I'm getting better. It's so awesome. My gloves, man, my gloves, I got to break them in. They're hurting my hands at some point because, like, it's like thick yeah, ass, yeah. real leather. You know what I mean? That genuine Mexican leather. But uh, it's going great, guys. I love it. Uh, I'm honestly, yeah. I, I, ooh, I think our food is here. One second. Hey guys. All right, folks. We got some McDonald's, and uh, so we we're gonna be talking about two Filipino McDonald's in a second. So we figured we would eat appropriately. Anyways, boxing is going great. I love it. Okay, well, since the food is here, uh, let us move on to the next topic, which is Tufiluk versus McDonald's. Uh, this is it's actually a pretty long you know, situation. So here's, here's how it started, I think. So we have Tufiluk posting this photo. I'm whatever. I'm I'm طلبت دليفري واحد همبرجر وغير قصص حنعمي الكلنا ديجوستاسيون مع بعض اند هي سمعت صوته انت عم تقري يا يا سو هير اتس ا 7 مينيت فاكينج فيديو اي ثينك وي غونا نيد سم كينيتيك ساند اور سمثينغ حدا سو هير ليتس وي غونا ستارت بلاينج ات اوكي يا جماعه الدليفري وصل اول مره بحياتي باكل ماكدونالدز أول شيء كمية الزيت اللي عم بيطلع من الكيس مش طبيعي سو اوريدي هيك ام افريد ابيت بس فيكم تشوفوا كمية الزيت يا ماما الريحة ما اشبع شيء الباكجينج يعني على سعره بفهم يكون الباكجينج بربع ليرة واقل We're gonna start some kinetic sand شوفوا الزيت اللي عم بشرشر الكيس مزيت اوكي سو انا طلبت جران بيج ماك وتشيكن سيلكت وانينة ماي ولارج فرايز اول مرة بحياتي بدي اوكي يا جماعة مثل ما شايفين قدامكم انا طالب بوز نحن طلبنا لونج بان لونج بان لونج بان هيك جديد تشيكن لونج بان خيي <laughs> I had it Kleenex. Yeah. Do you want a plate or something? Uh, bro, I had it Kleenex. One. Do you want to go? All right. Uh, yeah. Let's continue. We've got the kinetic sand to keep us company, folks. We're not going to eat, and we're going to listen. Okay, it's, it's long. Yeah. Uh, chicken select. Here, no, I'm in the chicken strips. A grand Big Mac. Here, a hamburger. Here, two lahmi cheese pickles. I don't like the cheese. I don't like the cheese. Like an old. Uh, ketchup, mayo, or bacon. 
فرايز الكل الناس مهووسه بهيدي الفرايز بحياتي انا ماني حاطتهم بتمي اه ليك انا بلا بندورة سويتش تشيلي كريم وتشيلي صوص وات ايفر خلينا نبلش اول شيء بالفريتات لانه كل الناس مهووسه بالفريتات مطشطشين ما بعرف اذا عم صدق انا اول مره بدو ماكدو I personally don't give a fuck. Huh? What's the matter? What's the matter? Hala, the fries. Let me put them on the table. I'm going to have a little bit of a mess. I'm not sure what the amount of salt is going to be. Bro, come on. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'm not sure what I'm doing. What? What's the matter, bro? Chicken strips. I'm a garami. I am a big fan of chicken strips. Big fan. Uh, I love the chicken. I love when it's crunchy. I had like, a new on the menu. It's like a mom. It's like an old rich new. Ashrafi mom. I'm telling our Abna, they're my lazy mate. Do you hate the McDonald's? Je n'ai jamais essayé ce McDonald's. Chicken strips. Je veux goûter. This is good. It's very nice. This is good, guys. Hey, the chicken strip is my chicken select. He my sauce type. The sauce type is not cheap. Pause on the idea. I got it. No, McDonald's menu type delivery. Let's be honest. And until now, it's like cold. McDo has like a there's like a three minute window where it's tasty. It's fresh. They make it. You eat it. You have like Anjad. You have to eat it within four minutes of it being served to you. And that's the only time McDonald's is like bomb. Any other time. I never enjoy McDonald's delivery. Almost, I just never. Yeah, it's not like I just come to Tijuana. Yeah, yeah. I never order McDonald's delivery. Just hella because of the segment and let's eat McDonald's. But like, it's it's. Yeah, and he's right. You should go to McDonald's too. You can eat it there. It's a different experience. I gotta say. She, by the way, Heidi, a chili dip with sour cream. All the most product and the most product, the burger is seventy pound to five hundred ninety cent. Mullah Ali. Manu fast food seventy pound. Ali. All the collin. This is the hamburger. Grand Big Mac. Grand. Jee, I'm going to kill the world with burger. This is the Grand Big Mac. Grand Big Mac. Grand. And Jerry's like a woman. This is the burger. I don't mean it in like an offensive way. No, like it's like a taunt. Yeah. هالخبزي لو جران بيج ماك هيدي اللحمة بدك لايك كاتشب وصوص بيكن لحمة تانية وقطعة تشيز مبينة طالعة من الفريزر أنا بعد وقت كتير باكل على البطيخ فما عم يخلص البودكاست ما عم باكل ما عم باكل أنا كمان ما كتير عندي أبيتايت هلا because of the stress and anxiety يا جماعة أخذت كدشتين لهلا عن جد عن جد عن جد صفر طعمة ما في طعمة ما في طعمة لا بتحسوا باللحمة لا بتحسوا بالشيز الشغلة الوحيدة اللي عم بحس فيها هي لحظة الصوص عم بقلبن عم شو كحتية مش حاطين شي بالبرجر نسوا للبيكلز لا توميتو ولا أونيونز برتو فيليك شو توقع برو عم تدفع ست باوند على برجر وميل و اللحمة اللحمة مبروشة هل قد سمكة مثل ورقة الأكات تحت السفر كتر خير الله يا أمي ماما لوك قلتي لي بحياتي ما أكل ماكدونالدز أنا اليوم ندمين تحت السفر شو هي شو هي؟ أنا أقول الصوصات ليه طيبين يا جماعة لأنه الصوصات مش من شركة ماكدونالدز، الصوصات معمولين من شركة هاينز الشركة العالمية للصوصات وأنا عم بقول ليه طيبين <تصفيق> إذا غطست البرجر إذا غطست البرجر بهيدي التشيلي غير شوية طعمة Is this fun content, by the way, guys? Us eating McDonald's as we watch someone else eat McDonald's with some kinetic sand on the side. I just my bad. I don't know anymore. What are we doing? Number three podcast in Lebanon. 
نمبر فاكن 3 خليني رح اكل انا هول التشيكن سيلكت وهول حرام هلا بشوف شو بعمل فيهم بركي بعطيهم لجارتي او شيء جارتي بعطيها برجر من العالم كله هيك هيك ماكدونالد مني لعليك كيديش منه كاتش ما كنت عارف انه عندي ماكدونالدز لافرز متابعيني صار كل واحد عم بيعطيني كول بيك تيستي وكول ماما تيستي وكول اما للتيستي كول بقلب المطعم ما بديش حط بتمي للتيستي ولا اما للتيستي ولا الهامبرجرز شكرا جزيلا آه هذا كانت اكسبيريونس انا با ريبيتي انا با ريبيتي يعني بفهم انه اوكي رخيص هلا رخيص ريلاتيف ما منه هالقد رخيص بس انه الناس تنطر انا اوقات بشوف ناس ناطره ساعه عامله كيو لماكدونالدز ساعه برو كمان عم بقلبكم عم يغشيتوني وغشيتونا ما بيتاكل البرجر والفرايز مطشتين وكميه الزيت اللي عم يستعملوها خلص خلص اين نو بادي ايفر ويتد ان اور فور فاكن ماكدونالدز برو جد بس ذير از 40 مور سكند There's, there's like one more minute. Uh, maybe it says something interesting. Well, we gotta check it out. We haven't. This is an hour long, by the way. Uh, kinetic sand. Guys, I'm بلش حس بحرقة. يلا يلا. I'm بلش حس. جد. بطني عم بيجر. Gordon Ramsay with a foot be stepping. Being all dramatic. I'm بعمل جر. ما نيش معود يا جماعة. تمي وجسمي معود على الكافيار والفوجرا. وعلى الاكل الرفيني الرفيني اخر مره ولع بحس بحرقه هذا بطنه هذا الصور؟ رح اروح اشتري ايموجم خليني اروح اشتري ايموجم وير دون واو No, the fact that it was that long though gave me a chance to eat way. So after that, he gets a DM. Tufiru gets a DM from McDonald's LB. So wait, I think Tufiru could be England or some shit. He gets a DM from McDonald's LB that says, "Aslan ma bedna yek taqul min akilna," with a kiss emoji. Wow. So big top Tufiru. He shares it. Hatta McDonald's mishtai shakli. أنا إذا بكمل هيك ولا ماركة بالعالم حتشتغل معي معك حق. Oh. Uh, so then بنزل this TikTok where you know he's upset about the message. I have to mute it because of the, there's music and he's sad وعم يبكي. الله يا الله. أو تخيل غنية طبعا جون. Hoping to stop every day. Did you have it? You need to get it. No, I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping. Wallah al azim, I swear to God, one more message from McDonald's, I swear to God, I will roast your ass. And this is a promise. Do not interfere in my business. I am being very strict and thorough. Do not interfere in my business. Because you're not gonna like what's gonna happen. This is stupid, but... Inadvertently, this was a great ad for McDonald's. I honestly don't know if he's actually working with McDonald's because look at us. We, just, in. we just ordered yeah. McDonald's like idiots. We sat here and ate it and gave them money. Yeah, and I don't know if this was all just a big ploy and if this was an actual sponsorship, which is very possible that it could be, to be honest. Now, nah, by the way, bro, I'm diet like kill all of <laughs> I'm sorry about the burping. I know some people hate it. Yeah, well. just, I'm drinking all this fucking Coca Cola. Sorry. Guys. Thank you, thank you. Number three podcast. <laughs> I don't know what to say about this. Uh, team McDonald's, I guess. Obviously, Team McDonald's. But if Team McDonald's is actually Team Tufiruk, then we all just got doinked. Okay, moving on from Tufiruk versus McDonald's. Saad Lemjerad. Uh, you guys remember, uh, we talked about him a couple of weeks ago. He is currently in prison for, uh, for uh, like, rape and, 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 like, in France, I think, right? And he's accused of, of the R word and a bunch of other countries as well. There's this weird video of this lady 
بي بي شانل حكينا عنه مش من زمان he had beef with نور حجار he made this video I saw it on Twitter about this lady who said this just fucked up shit about Saad Mujerad let's just watch it I don't even know who this lady is Saad Mujerad نحنا كتير من حبه من رأس أغاني عملت منشن لرفيقتي عن فيسبوك وعرفنا انه بده ينحبس ست سنين قلت لها بتروحي ننحبس معه هلا هيك هيك الوضع بلبنان مش زبط قالت لي يلا بنروح بس ست سنين قليل خليها تجدد شوفها كم زولفت عم بيقولوا لنا انه هي مضبوطه قصه الاغتصاب مش مضبوطه قلت لهم انا اذا سهد لمشرب ما عندي مشكله And the editing camera is so cheesy, it's funny, like the bars in the slow motion. But it's going between them, but I don't know what she's doing. She's on like, she's on Zolof, and Xanax, and she's on Xanax, and she's on Sambuka. Yeah, she's fucked up, she's fucked off her mind. But that's such a horrible take. Yeah, she wants to be in prison with him. She doesn't mind getting R-worded by Saad Mujerad, and I guess he's a handsome man. Great, great for feminism. Here she talked shit about him. My bad, I just I don't know who the fuck she is. I just saw ah, this video on Twitter. She's like, I want, I wish he could rape me, and I want to be in prison with him. Great. Yani, Anjad, the feminism, women's rights. Speaking of feminism and Women's Day, shift my segue, Yanadine. Yeah. Shift my segue. Yeah, yeah. Hello, we have a bunch of Mother's Day, uh, Women's Day, and Mother's Day things. I don't know if Women's Day is still relevant. I don't think so. Let's talk about Mother's Day. There's a bunch of cringy things on Mother's Day. Holy, combination of Twitter. Um, Insta Super maintenance services Surprise your mom with a spotless home 20% off on cleaning services Because all moms are always thinking about yeah. Cleaning, cleaning products, cleaning the house uh, They know Audience targeting <laughs> Target audience How about this one? This was a tweet from Basil Lebanese Marketing 101 Project your sexual frustration in every campaign you run Market MILF Mother I love forever Happy Mother's Day By Marketeers LB Uh. MILF <laughs> This is so stupid bro It's so fucked up My personal favorite from Pet Butte It's a pet store We've talked about it before As you guys know now We have a general rule here uh, Adopt, don't shop So we don't support any pet stores That sell animals Let's, let's watch this أول شغلة أهم هدية تعطوها يعني ترتين تسينات أكيد الله يخلي أمهات الجميع هي بسينة تنفي لها الشعور بالوحدة وبتقلل حتى من أمراض السرطانية تخيل قد هي بيكون في بنفت هيدا الكتكوت الزرطور كانس مور كانسر برو في عرض هلا على عيد الأم أنت حتاخدوا أي بسينة من هول ب 200 دولار حتاخدوها مع لتر بوكس ومع الكيش ومع كيس للبحص ومع كيس للأكل يكون 2 كيلز أهم شغلة يكون سوبر بريمي كثير مرتب حتى ما تعمل لا دايرية لا بسينة ولا تمرض طريقي <laughs> 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 <laughs>
There's a million of me, and I thought every person had 40 doppelgangers. That was like the general rule. You have 40 lookalikes spread across the world. And I said, 91, you know. I said, there's at least six that I'm aware of that I have their fucking photos here. Here's another. He's also a podcaster, George Poulos. Look at this. Do you want to love someone conditionally fuck? or unconditionally? And vice versa. Do you want to be loved conditionally or loved unconditionally? And here's a hard pill to swallow. In order to love That's someone lame, unconditionally, though. you must love yeah, them not doing, even not if worry. they no longer love you. Because if you love someone, because they love you. And even the way he's sitting, like, it's just kind of lame. What do you think? You just come out of hippie shit? You tree hugger, god damn it. it. It's Get out of here, boy! A conscious love. It's an agreement. It's a contract. Uh, True. I mean, yeah, this is freaky, man. You George, you better answer my goddamn DMs, know. man. What, what is going on here? So let's just take a trip down, a quick trip down memory lane. And remember, my other look likes. There's multiple versions of me, okay? Uh, there's, uh, you guys want the buff version of Anthony? The, here he is. This is also copyrighted, so let me mute this. This is buff. Look at, look at this. Look at Buff Anthony right here. Look at those shoulders. Oh my god. This is fucking freaky. I think he's from South Africa. His name is Machine Gun Willem. He's either from New Zealand or from South Africa. With the hat. It's the mustache. It's the hat. It's the whole thing. Is like it works together. Here's another video. This is me literally if I just spent all my time at the gym. Eating like a motherfucker. Gains. Look at this man. Look at this is me. I need to organize a dinner. I need to organize a meetup. <laughs> with all of them. Uh, you want to see the emo version of Anthony? There's emo. Emo me. Check this out. Jiggle, jiggle, pop, pop my hips, let a rock, okay? Swing left, swing right, my weave and tie. Yo. You haven't seen this one before? Yeah, sure. Yeah, bro. This is emo Anthony. What the fuck? Let me let me play this again on mute once because I think this could also be maybe copyrighted. Is it okay now? Clear. That the he's wearing that that uh, peruke. Boom! Here here I go, baby. Here I go. Yeah. They all dye their hair blonde, Kamena. <laughs> We've all been through the same phase. I even what have pants. What the fuck? Pants. <laughs> Bye, man. This is emo me. Okay, the emo. So we have emo, emo me, buff me. There's Indian me. This is, this is Indian or Pakistani. <laughs> this guy came in at this guy. Sh <laughs> this guy showed up on someone's dating uh, on an, a dating app. They sent them to me. They're more I guess she's in Canada. This man, Indian Anthony in Canada. So we have Indian me, emo buff, George Pulos, who we just saw. Uh, we have Islam Mansouri, who we saw Mishman Zamin. Uh, here, here I go, right over here. <laughs> <laughs> I think this guy's Lebanese. But uh, yeah, so here's my other. Anjad, I need to do a party, man, with all these people. Or like a thumbnail with every all of Anjad. them. He's so awesome. Nick, he's stylish, though. I'm feeling this guy. I like him. Good job, Islam. Uh, oh, yeah. Hey, the Hinanu, like two weeks ago. If you meet at some point, Hayda is in town with this meme. I swear Can I know what? Hayda came in again, be NYC, Hadan Shifu, Ala Bumble. Here we go. This is like blonde Anthony. This guy was really freaked me out, Kamena. This is another photo of him right here. This photo, he looks a bit less like me here. He's, he, he might be better looking than me, but this right here. God damn it. Anyways, if you guys find more, I know I say I hate it, but it's funny at this point, just for the memes, so that we keep building out this collection. Send me my lookalikes, okay? I will accept it. Send them to me. That's George Poulos. Read my goddamn DM, man. Answer me, man. Come on, dude. Let's do a Zoom call or something. Should I'm like, like, bro, we're fucking twins. <laughs> that was the first thing I told him. Uh, it's insane. Anyways, there was a crazy tweet. You know Twitter. You know Twitter and crazy hot takes. With yeah. that thing with the, the photo from... Uh, I forgot what this movie was called. With the swords. They're like... Share... Uh, so unpopular this, opinion. Un share an unpopular <coughs> opinion. So here, Edo Queen was like, what sex opinion... Would have you like this. And Kinza went all fucking out. She, this is her take. Heterosexual sex is misogynist. It's anti-women and pro-men. Majority of women don't have pleasure in heterosex. It's major, it, majorly, it majorly deems women's bodies as objects and authorizes male supremacy. It's not natural. It's coerced. It disregards clitoris and dictates women's worth as only holes. God damn! 
What the fuck? God damn! This she went all the fuck. You know what? But if you're gonna give one of those takes, might as well go all out. And she went all the fuck out, bro. It's misogynist, anti-women, pro-men, pro -men no pleasure. We deem women's bodies as objects. We authorize male supremacy. It's not natural. What is it if it's women's not natural? Words as only holes. But so what do you mean it's not natural? It's the most natural. It's a hole and a, and, and a thing that goes inside the hole. That this is just. I don't know. She says as only holes. It's not just holes. There's love and there's feelings and stuff. That's just breaking it down into just nature and like animals and 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 giving and creating life. You got the hard thing that goes into the hole. It's natural. Coerce? Why is it coerced? Sometimes it's coerced. I mean, of course, but like, it disregards clitoris and dictate women worse. The I, fuck? I don't know what to say. This is just this is just Twitter being Twitter. This is just you know, this is just another Tuesday on Twitter. Just another normal <laughs> day. You know, you know what I mean? It's just funny. It's just funny. It's like my mafi she's zabit. Maybe she's had horrible experiences coming in. Like I don't know. She's she's probably been through some shit before. So, haram. Yeah, you know. but so no. Yeah, it's not like that. <laughs> it's not. It's not supposed to be like that. Yeah, it's not like that. Yeah, haram. It's uh, it's inaccurate. Uh, Tay, before we get into our sponsor, uh, let's just take a second to talk about my car. I mentioned that my car got stolen in Jamaica. Yeah, Keith, So fun little update about that. I don't actually have a car. <laughs> I've never owned a car. That was another clickbait. Hey, whoa, it was a little clickbait. Harmless. We had a good episode, folks. Don't get mad. Don't get mad at the clickbait. Okay, we have to do this. Episode 91. How am I supposed to get you guys to click? Aren't you happy my car isn't stolen? I thought your car got stolen, Anthony. I clicked for the car. <laughs> Why, what do you mean your car wasn't stolen? You should be happy for me. Okay? And hey, I've never owned a car. I have, I have a driver's license. I have a Lebanese driver's license. I have a driver's license in the States. I even had international drivers like that. Oh, no. I haven't driven in a long time, so you don't want me to drive. Yeah. You know what I mean? You don't be like, hey, take my keys and drive. Ah. I know usually when you go to the States, do you ever drive? I take the public transportation, buses, yeah. trains. I don't need to, to drive, man. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, sorry about the clickbait. Matas, I swear I'm going to get a comment. You fucking piece of shit. I thought your car was stolen. Ah, Shufina Nami. Uh, well, but you know what isn't clickbait, folks? Helping the interns making money. Yeah. And you can help them make money thanks to our amazing sponsor, Sendwave. Now, you guys know him, you love him, and Sendwave loves you because you guys have been downloading Sendwave, you've been using it. The interns, I, I told you guys, the first 15 codes, the intern's gonna keep all the money. We're already almost there. So let me tell you, what is Sendwave? How does all of this work? How can the interns make money thanks to you guys? Well, Sendwave is an awesome... A money transfer app. It is incredibly cheap. There is there is no transfer fees unless you're transferring from the States. Uh, there are no pickup fees. You can pick up your money from any wish location all across Lebanon. How does it work? Well, if you live in the US, Canada, France, Spain, Italy, Belgium, or Ireland, you can download the Sendwave app on your phone, use our code CASHDNW, and get $15 applied to your first transfer to Lebanon. So let's say you have friends or family living in Lebanon, you want to send them a little gift, you can send them as little as $1, literally $1, user code CASHDNW, and they will receive $16, the $1 you sent them plus a $15 gift. And every time you use our code CASHDNW, we actually get a little bit of cash, like the podcast. So you use the code, you're actually supporting us. And to support the interns, I'm making sure that the first 15 codes that are used, the interns are making all that money. They're keeping all of that cash. So the more you use the code, the more money the interns make. Now, if you don't live in the US, Canada, France, Spain, Italy, Belgium, or Ireland, but you have friends or family that live there and you live here in Lebanon, just message them. Send them a quick test. Be like, hey, download SendWave. Use the code CASHDNW. They can send you a dollar and you'll make $15 if and they, they send you a dollar. And the more people you know in, uh, abroad, the more money you can make. If you have five cousins in France, if they each send you $1 and you get $15 as a gift, what's five times 15? That's like 70, $75. You just made $75 like that. And you got them to use five codes, which is supporting our interns. Like I said, there are no transfer fees unless you're sending money from the States. There's a small 2.6% transfer fee, but still, since there's no pickup fees, it always comes out cheaper than the competition. I use SendWave all the time. My sister has the app now in the States. Anytime I want her to send me money, she sends me money using the app. You've seen what's going on with the Lebanese Lira. You can't trust your money in Lebanese pounds. So you send wave. You send wave, get money sent from outside, from abroad, save a whole bunch of money. You can go pick up your money from any wish money location. There are, again, no pickup fees. Like I can't name the competition. I'm not allowed to, but you know who I'm talking about. The competitors have pickup fees. It is expensive to use the competition. Keep more of your money when you use SendWave. 
So, uh, cash the NW. Do it. Uh, Joseph Shada. Joseph Shada went to Crunchy Joe, folks. Crunchy. Actually, Joseph Shada messaged me a few days ago. He wants to, he asked me if we can get drinks to uh, set things right between me and Joseph him. Shada. Joseph Shada. Joseph Shada. Well, he was upset. He was upset at us for making fun of, uh, of his ishida. He explained it to me. He has psoriasis. I even told him I apologize for talking about that. And he has every right to be upset with me. He explained it to me. He has psoriasis. Joseph Shada takes showers. He's a clean man. Okay. Just no matter what he does, the psoriasis, it's a medical condition. Machasu. I told him maybe I'll think about getting drinks with him. Uh, so we're going to see. Shada, I'm, I'm fakir fia, okay? But anyways, Shada can ma'zoom and crunchy Joe. So uh, let's just, Aif. let's just see. Aif. Yeah, yeah, let's just, Aif. let's just see what happened there. Shufu, shufu, ma'la Oh, sorry. Yeah, I know. Yeah, there we go. Repeat. Ana, when I click, this is when I, I try to make it loud so that when I'm starting. زلت عند كرانشي جو بصيدا قال لي بعمل لك واحد على تاكيز وفرايز قلت له او يس بس رجع عمل لي واحد على تشيكن اللي هي سبيسياليتي تبع معقول شادا حرحرت لي زلعيمي بالتاكيز يا زلمه يا زلمه قول يا شادا قلت له اعمل لي واحد قال لي رح اعمل لك اثنين يلا يا شادا عن جد لك هذا فاملي عندك اولاد عم يحضروك يا شادا كل انت معلم انت استاذ يا شادا بتعلم اولاد This is the this is the crazy thing, mom. Who might be stuck? But tell you, yeah. This is the agrab shib in the world. In one ear, out the other. In one ear, out the other. Who? Who? Shada. Who? We told him that he's going to lose the mid. Man, this is crazy. I'm sorry. You told him that, man. He doubles down. Ma'ul. This is the video from Crunchy Joe's perspective. I'm just rushing on film. High art on TikTok. High art. Is the one with Joseph Shada. The one who's going to make you do one. وقف حط راسه براسي ما ادري كيف استفزني قلت له رح اعمل لك اثنين لانك استفزيتني. بلشت الواحد مع اشتم واحد مع تاكيز بعدين بلشت اشتم مع تاكيز اللي دائما بتشلفت الصبايا شلفتني الي شلفته عندي ماستر باربيكيو قلت له تشيفس هون لك شادا عم بيصور التيك توك برو شو غير انه ما بعرف انا ما عندي شيء اقوله انه اتس ديسكاستنج برو قلت له yeah, انه شادا وكرانشي جو اعمل لي واحد عم اعمل لك اثنين خي وبطاطا <تصفيق> وشوسيت <تصفيق> ومايونيز و... وشلفت الصبايا شلفت شلفت الصبايا شلفتني <تصفيق> الي و... شوف هيدي هيدي تخيل <تصفيق> تخيل اعمل له اياهم شوف هاي شو مقلت قالت لي بدك تفتح لي اياه وتحط لي عليه تشادر رح نقي واحد كبير وواحد صغير فتحناه هون يعني ذس از ما ذس از جيفينج مي ان ايمج برو بدك اياها تفتح لي وتحط لي عليه تشدر ما ام ات ام ايماجينينغ وات يو سينغ نوت ذا تاكيز وذ تشدر شي ثاني يو نو وات ام توكينغ اباوت از نوت ديسكاستينغ بدك تفتح لي وتحط لي اياه تشدر دعم دعمو تشدر حطينا علي وتشدر اوه يس تشدر وهون اجى شوي برا This is disgusting يعني كرانشي جو يو لاست ذا كاستمر هو مان صوته عن جد صوته اكثر شيء منه حلو بالعالم شادا او كرانشي جو؟ اثنيناتهم بس كرانشي جو لانه نزل اوه يس تشدر اوه يس بدك ياني اعمل لك واحد لا اعمل لي اثنين بدي اشوف فاجئني كرانشي جو رحت قال لي بده يعمل لي واحد فاجئني قلت له كرانشي جو انا شي تاكل شي تاكل بطاطا مش تعمل لي واحد اتمنى هي شود هاف بن ذير اي شود هاف سين وات فاجئني سيد اباوت ذس فاجئني كانت جو طلع البطاطا البطاطا من بنطلونه اني ويز ذس ذس وزنت ذات فاني دي دونت نيد تو لاف يو دونت نيد تو لاف يا ندي مهضوم اي ابريشيت يو وانت تو لاف بس فاجئني طلع البريزرفاتيف قلت له يا كانت جو شو عم بيصير قال لي يا فاجئني ما بدك تروح قلت له فاجئك بشيء اني ويز اني ويز شو عنا Crunchicho, Dr. Food, Dr. Food. I didn't know that Dr. Food. Actually, I'm not going to ask you. I'm not going to ask you about Dr. Food. Hey, Mama Fina, tell you, Blake, we have a couple of things. You know, you told him and the ladies in the past. You want to watch that? That's kind of funny, right? Tell you, Dr. Food, Dr. Food and his wife, they're into each other. What time do you have an interview with Rubicom podcast? He, she was like, I have a girl, I have a girl, I have a girl, I have a girl. 
Let's take a trip down memory lane and see the banet, the, the uh, Dr. Food Kenny Sawir Ma'an, before his life was ruined by his wife. Maybe. <laughs> she was kind of cute. But I know this girl. Ah, really? Yeah, so it's in the caption. Ya Habibi, when shuru amkum? Ah, I remember this one. I remember this one. I'm just going to go to the house. Anyways, we're not going to watch this again. We, we saw it before. Hey, the honey always got two ladies next to him. But Shwambi see honey. What's up with his hair here? Isn't his hair fucking weird? Okay. Look, I know what the fuck's going on here. <laughs> Anyways, first of all, we have these lovely, I think, Ethiopian ladies. I mean, to my Dr. Food, which I thought this was hilarious because they're basically saying that he and his wife are fucking idiots. Let's watch together. Dr. Food, Joanne. Mashma al Kogan. Lebanon. Where in Lebanon? Man, I love it. They're making them out to be like the biggest idiots ever, bro. I love these ladies. Uh, Mark Cooks, who actually left a comment on our last video. So I think Mark watches the show. Mark, he posted this photo on Instagram. He says, dietitians, please answer here. With the nutrition facts, Taba. Dr. Food's wafer. So here we Stephanie Hoyek answers. I think that Dr. Food didn't have the nutrition facts and they had the fat in the fat, but So now they have them here. So I'm doing 13 grams of fat, 117 calories, 4 grams of protein, 16 calories, and 30 grams of carbs, 120 calories, give you 253 calories. Here they have 71 calories on packaging. In any other country, he'd be held responsible. This pick is from Mark Firzli's Insta page so in the hot team there's 71 calories in nahna by the way we still own the doctor food jibon jibon the three doctor food biscuits jibon we still own the doctor food wafers without the nutrition facts one of each matiftahun who are the collectors and the dark no nutrition fact and the hazelnut no nutrition facts and the milk chocolate no nutrition facts هو لك كلكتبل اذا حدا بده يشتريهم منا بعثوا لنا دي ام حطوا لنا كومنت عم نبيعهم حطوا لنا كومنت سو اتس كريزي اي مين جود كاتش ذس از بريتي فاكت اب اوبسلي انا انا اي واز سينج انه لاست ويك هي دازنت نيد تو بي اكوريت ان هيز تيك توكس بس اف يو ار سيلينج ا برودكت تو ذا كونسومر يو جات تو بي اكوريت اند ذي ار نوت ستوبينج ات ويفرز فولكس نو ذا ثريت اوف دكتور فود سناكس از ريل هلا جايين دكتور فود سانشاين ستيكس Sticks, holy shoe flavored, barbecue flavored. Yeah, I don't know if they're like potato chips or like bread sticks, like a pretzel type thing. Jaina, sunshine sticks. I love that. Anjuj, he's naming the food after her. That's fucking insane, man. We might be getting some canned food. Are we going to get some food. some <laughs> corn? Or champignon? We're going to see. Shada al chips. Shada doesn't know. Shada doesn't know. Shada doesn't know. <laughs> okay, now we got all that done. We have a couple of uh, random new fun uh, TikTok accounts that uh, Nadim found. Then the the new Sigma Sigma God. Watch out, Jonas. Uh, first, let us look at a couple of these uh, new accounts. They're super fun. They're weird. They're weird. First, let's start with uh, Safa Media DVD. <laughs> شو العرض اليوم يا اخي؟ لك اليوم ما فيش عرض، اليوم جي اف اي جيف اواي قصدك؟ ايه جيف اواي اواي على البي اس 4 بس عليكم تعملوا شير وكومنت ولايك واوصل عالي ههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههههه
جام عنا عرض على مسكة البي اس 4 كوبي اي واوصل عنا بس ب 13 دولار واوصل عنا فيك تجيبها ما فيك <تصفيق> He's like having a seizure. My wife has Tourette's. Oh, she. But now we're talking about what she's doing. Like, what's going on? I'm not sure. I'm like, uh. We're talking about the normal. I'm like, maybe has Tourette's or something. Uh, that's Safa Media DVD. Gold, short but uh, gold. Gold, yeah. Short but gold. Old but gold. Hell, we have Alka Furniture. Hey, the camera. مهمة والله. The guy is kind of nutty. وعتيني. Oh, I forgot who. He reminds me of Zulfi. شوي عنده إنرجي زولفي. شوفوا. هذا هول. أولي ميتين وثلاثين دولار. شو؟ كاجو بيك تعمل في يوم من عندي؟ لك شو ميتين وثلاثين دولار؟ بتعرف بيتك كامل من عندي. بتعرفش. كمل هل. شو بتاع هاي؟ شو بتاع هاي؟ ميتين وثلاثين دولار. وغير هالوال اللي بدك إياها. تخفي سبعينكم من ديتاش بنيارة. خمس شوالي بقل. زين ثلاث دولار. سحاب وتابع للآخر شفتوا هيدا؟ هاي الصالون جاي الآن ما وسط 230 دولار أموها هاي عم بكسر طاولة تصدق لأربع طاولات صغار كبيرة مايكا طاولة طاولات ضيافة للقطع لا مايكا أهم خشب لا مايكا كفر برودكشن للفرشة حيكون هالعرض بس بقيمة 1380 دولار واصل وراكب وغير ألوان حسب طلبك لعريس ومنشان للعريس شو قال يا اخي؟ ومارشل؟ مارشل؟ ما بعرف. anyways there's another one هيدي عم ببيع اوضة نوم ب 580 دولار بس 600 دولار شلنا منهم 20 دولار ضل عنا 580 دولار زادة ثلاث برا الصحاب تاخذ 170 تنجي الثاني كثير مميزين يا عريس ما تنجي الثاني حفرات على الساعة الساعة تجوهرين <تصفيق> Clarita Nakhle, she's super famous. Uh, I've spoken about her once in one, in one of my TikTok uh, compilations. Salna Zamein, this was Nadim found this one. This was really funny. She's just yeah, making a swat. Really she goes by Kuki Nakhle. Uh, let's watch. <laughs> Personally, yeah, I rate this video 10 over 10. It's very good. Better get them 12 over 10. You know, <laughs> I'm so tired, guys. By the way, I'm sorry. Physically, boxing is exhausting. Yeah, I love a boxer's life now. I can't let the Pedro, I'm gonna get you next time, buddy. Um, last topic, folks. Firas Zurab. Zurab, sorry. Firas Zurab. Brand new Sigma God, folks. Come in, kill his videos, hashtag Sigma Sigma. Let's start. He has a lot of lessons to teach. Sigma dick. Sigma, he's more scary than uh, 
جوناس ايه ايه هيز مور انتيميديتنج ايوه يعني ما البحر شوف هذا خاف راس شو حكيت مثل اليوم؟ اذا غرقت كذا مره ما تلوم البحر بتكون انت ما بتعرف تسبح على فكره مش عم بحكي عن البحر تحس عم يحكي معك شخصيا اصبع فت صدري شو عم شو عم يحكي؟ ما عم بحكي عن البحر عم يحكي عن انه انه لايك ويت فاجينا يعني لا لا قصده آه. انه اذا انت مثلا اول مره فتت بريليشن شيب وحدا خيانك دان فت مرتين وحدا خيانك سو اتس نوت اتس نوت اباوت ذيم اتس اباوت يو نوت يو دونت نو تو تشوز يور بس ناتاريوس انه انه انيوندو انه البحر انه ها ها ويت بحر ما عم بحكي عن البحر انا حبيبي بس هيك هي هاز هيز ا فيري تالنتد مان رو انا عم بحكي بس ذير از ذير از مارشال ارتس جايين كون رو هيز ا مالتي تالنتد مان ما حدا قاله مع البنت اذا نامي مع شاب واحد او عشرة او مية ما حدا قاله مع خيي ما حدا قاله حق يدل عليها هي حرة بدها تعمل بدها اياه وما حدا قاله حق مع البنت اذا ما بدها تنام مع ولا حدا قبل ما تتجوز يمكن ما بعرف بذات الوقت ما حدا قاله مع الشاب اذا هو عنده مشكلة يرتبط مع وحدة نامي مع نص واحد هو بده يرتبط مع وحدة مش نامي مع حدا هو حر بذات الوقت كمان ما حدا قاله مع الشاب إذا هو ما عنده مشكلة يرتبط مع وحدة نامة مع ميتو واحد كل واحد حر ما في صح مطلق بهالخبرية وما في غلط مطلق بهالخبرية ليك بريتي بيس تيك يعني جود تيك شو بدنا نقول؟ آه نو. جوناس ما حدا خصه ما حدا خصه بالتانة يعني جوناس في كومبتيشن ذس جاي از ووك هيز ا ووك كينج يعني شو بدنا نقول؟ كيز رايت؟ هون شو عنا؟ البنت اللي ممكن ينعجب فيها الشاب بالسهرة هي مش نص صدرة برا ولا لبسة تنورة 2 سم اما البنات اللي نص صدرهم برا واللي بصير تنوره 2 سم ايه يلفوا نظر نص الشباب وبيجربوا الشباب يتعرفوا عليهم بس الشباب عم يجربوا يتعرفوا عليهم كرمال غايه وحده وكرمال يتسلوا اما البنت اللي مش نص صدرها برا ولا لبسه تنوره 2 سم هيدي الشاب بيتعرف عليها بطريقه جديه او بحب يتعرف عليها بطريقه جديه مش عم بقول انه البنت غلط تلبس هيك هي حره بالنهايه Okay. Maybe he's not as woke as I thought. I guess you remember. You're free. 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 فيك تقعد بقوطة النوم قدام المراية وتلبس هيك ثلاث ساعات تتفرج على حالك إذا كانت هاحشتك يعني بس هيز إنه ما بعرف وو كينج وو كينج كيدنج كيدنج أوكي هون أر وي ستارتنج جيت إنتو ذس تالنتس أوكي هيدا مش عارف أحضر هذا ذس ون ستوبد أو هون ما أر بويز إت ذا كومبات سبورتس تشيك ذس أوت هيز ا بوكسر إنت إنت عندك كومبتيشن إم أي سيجما كز جوناس كمان ابي اعمل بوكسينج كان يعمل من زمان سو انا وياه وجوناس كلنا بوكسينج اي جس بلش اي جس ام سيجما بلش اعمل فيديوز عن اي جس ام سيجما اي شو صار ميكينج سيجما فيديوز عن جد اوكي هون هون از تالنت وي كان هاف تو ميوت ذس لانه اور بوي از دانسينج تشيك ذس اوت Well, he's a dancer. I know one of the the last one. Okay, I'm going to check this out. Empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. Bro, he's giving me like Joseph Medaib vibes. He's a bit of everything. He's a mix of. شو هال شو شو عم بسوي بالمايكروويف؟ And he has a big head. Like it's weird. Size of his. Ooh, this is nice. One. Sure. I don't know, but the end of it. And he's smiling. That he's laughing at his own joke. Hey, this is my personal favorite. Here we go. One, two, three. Tawil Hey. Yeah, we should hone hone it. Look, he's he's a good dancer. Very good, yeah. He's a talented dancer. Bravo. I'm guessing, yeah, I'm guessing 
beatboxing, street dance. Tiv jam nusas birus visba boxing advice on that women and just these sigmas have so many talents they have so much to offer to society why do we follow alphas all the time when we have look at this guy yeah. look at this sigma right here yeah, sigma. oh he's sitting down bam look at that cool boy sitting on the uh, and with that, folks, with uh, Firas Zurab, we have reached the end of this here episode, folks. Episode 91. Of we we laughed, we cried, we mourned my stolen car that got stolen in Jamaica as I was about to go have dinner at a... I, I, I don't even know what <laughs> restaurant to name. <laughs> folks, thank you to our brand new patron, Eli Hello. We love you. And uh, thank you to some of our other patrons like Jad Al Haj, uh, Leonardo Sawaya, Mo K, Joe Badur, Le Josh, Ren M, superior patrons like Daniel Nechle, Ryan Nabulsi, Dr. Salim Shukri, Mark Bashalani, and our God tier patrons Jessica Ann, Rifat Fakih, and Burgery. We love you guys. If you guys would like to support us on Patreon and make sure I can pay my interns, make sure we can survive in this economic crisis. We would love your support. Find a tier that's right for you. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, engage with us. We love you guys. Thank you so much. And um, as always, do not